Hello, my name is Jimmy Allison. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer and I teach one-on-one -on -one lessons online and in Austin, Texas. This is a short video about customizing default presets in Ableton Live. All Ableton Live devices have default settings which can be changed to a default preset that fits your personal workflow. Simply right-click or command-click on the title of the device to open the context menu and then select Save as Default. To further explain, look at the Categories section under Audio Effects. You will see all of the audio effect preset folders. These folders are actually default presets. You can drag the folder into a track to load the default preset, which is really handy. I generally like my defaults to be what is known as initialized presets. An initialized preset is basically a generic or transparent start point. For example, load the auto filter. Live's default settings are nice, but they cut the highs and I need to make a few other changes to be my preferred start point when I load the auto filter. Turn the frequency all the way up so the highs are not cut and keep the resonance at 14%. Most of the time, I want my LFO synced to the BPM of the song. Set the LFO so it is synced to the clock by clicking the little note button and make sure the phase is at zero so when the LFO is turned on, it doesn't auto pan left and right. This is where I like the auto filter to be when I start working. Now save as default by right clicking or command clicking to open the context menu on the title of the device. And then click the save as default option. And now anytime you load the default preset, your default preset will be the one that loads. If you ever want to reset to the factory settings, all you need to do is look under places, user library, defaults. Open the corresponding folder and delete the device. So pay attention to your natural workflow. And anytime you find yourself changing the parameters in the same way to basically create a start point, save that as a default so that way you don't have to do that every time you load the device. Well, that about wraps that up. Thank you for watching. Uh, check out my other videos. I teach private one on one lessons over the internet and in Austin, Texas. So check out my website, austinabletontutor.com, for more information.